we're going to be checking out this used small block Chevy that I picked up and going over to see if it's any good checking the main bearings and all that good stuff I got my GoPro on and it's windy out hopefully you can see and hopefully it ain't too noisy let me in basically know in the comment section that's what it's for let's go ahead and take this bag off these hefty bags here well this is a knockoff hefty from a dollar store you know helps keep water out of the engine especially if you're outside Ooh, that's cold this could be my Chevelle or Maverick engine never know I got an engine right there Huh? Got another engine right there. I need to tone down and uh, assemble. Oh, shit. Mm hmm. Four bolt main, that one is. What's this? Uh, this is a two bolt. Huh. Should be. I don't make four bolt new model motors. They don't? Nope. Oh, man. That's ignorant. Not really. <laughs> he said not really. They found out the two bolt's just as strong as four bolt. Oh. Hey, old timers don't believe that, though. Old, you know? Yeah. No time, that's a four bolt. Put a four bolt main in that. Fuck yeah. Oh shit. Maybe she got wet. Dollar store hefty bags. Maybe it's not that good. So, probably blew in. It's draining though, that's a good thing. Ah, we WD 40 it. It's fine. You want to flip a chain? Twist the handle. <laughs> In my pants and on my porch. Shit. We, that's when you know you're a little lazy, honey. We don't have the pop of. Oh, look at the. Like, who uses these? This is like non usable. I mean, they're nice to have, but. Shake it if you have to, the engine. Well, it's just this little black piece. Angle. Is it? Yeah, we'll see. This little black piece is slightly How about now? Yep. That's okay. Good. That's it. So we're down to the oil pan. This is uh, 89 one piece wheel main seal to 99, I think, Vortec. Same engine basically and we're going to show you how to remove the oil pan you got different sizes heel and gnaw and different nuts and bolts and braces it should look exactly like this unless uh that's long size that's a long size what size you give us 10 uh they no 10s anywhere shane so the side bolts is three eighths we're gonna need a deep weld and then we got the next size up for the two back whatever that would be so we're gonna go ahead and zip this off we got a zipper what's it at this is a do-what and uh, I got a review on this and it makes life easier so to keep up with your bolts what I like to do is put them in something just to the self you know this used piece of grass here here Get, get, you know, just set it somewhere you can hold it. It's windy today. We better hold on to it. I zip these out. Life is so much easier with an impact. That's bigger, bigger, bigger. That ain't good, that spinner. That one didn't. Oh, my drill's dead. 
Manual it is. Okay, that ain't, that ain't good. We need to go down the next size. Uh, socket from that. You can put that back up. Maybe that one that didn't fit it before. That's the only boat we got left. These boats is a size half inch on the side here. Just in case you wanted it on. Well, on my engine it is. No, oh, definitely not that size. Those two, Hank. What size is this? On the sides is 7 16th. Old fashioned way, ain't it? Mm -hmm. That's what you need, Shane. Need your small part. I want to put new wings in it. New wings is about $40. Once you get all your bolts out, your braces will just pop up. You can hold on to these. They help seal the pan. But if you put an aftermarket pan on it, I sometimes will use them, but most people don't. Aftermarket pans, if they're good quality, it's sometimes a little bit thicker. So once you get that bolt removed, that's what we did. We removed it with vice grips to fit all of everything. And you can just tap on the sides. This pan's rusty. I would replace that. Look at that. Good old steel pans for you. You can get uh, aluminum pans pretty cheap for any small box Chevy. That's the reason Chevy went to aluminum, you know. Then you can take and set the oil pan to the side. Oh, okay. So this is inside the engine. It don't look like it's ever been we man to me. Usually they are numbered or stamped if it's been into, so this would safely be a factory engine. That's got a little bit of moisture in it, but they ain't no water. So that's good. Everything was up top. Everything's all coated good too. Uh, the gasket's factory. Everything looks factory on this GM motor. How's the wads feel? Tight. No up and down, that's noticeable, but once we can take the rod caps off, take them off one at a time, you know, that's another video. This one was just on removing the oil pan and taking a look at it. So, once you do all that, don't get them mixed up and everything. If you do take them, number them, you know, to match your cylinders and everything. All that being another video. Hopefully you enjoyed this oil pan and checking this motor out with us. Thank you for watching. See you next time.